Oh, shit. I forgot to put my damn phone on Do Not Disturb, child. No, I didn't. I did it. Ha <laughs> ha. Memory bad in the motherfucker. But, um, we about to do a motivation video. And uh, while I do my hair, so. Fall in love with me. I introduce her to the game and let her thug with me. See me like Bunny and Clyde. She even clutching me. I feel like it's do or die. She give her soul to me. She want to be close to me. Oh, she say she fuck with me the long way. Say she gon' run my back, I had a long day Say baby, I ain't gon' lead you down the wrong way So I done washed my hair Um, and y'all will see I'm probably, it, the story time should be posted by now On YouTube, probably so Yeah, it will be Why is my toilet making Hush, hush <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Give me a minute, cause I done had to wash my hair. I done did a story time voiceover. I gotta do two reaction videos after this, cause vlog is coming, and I'm doing this video too. I done changed my shirt. I done did something to my wigs. I just I wanted to be three people in one day. I'm frustrated as hell. It's a lot going on. For this to be a motivation video, it's definitely a lot going on. It's crazy, cause my level of frustration is so high. It's so hot. Like, I didn't want to do this video. I ain't gonna lie. I thought about it. But then I was like, well, maybe that'll make you feel better. Nine times out of ten, it'll make you feel better. And so I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. So, plus I gotta, I'm gonna talk through this hair. But I do have a motivation video. I ain't posting one in so long. Like, so long. I feel like, when was the last? Child, I can't tell y'all the last time I posted a motivation video. But I had said on Patreon, again, if you ain't on Patreon, make sure you click that link in the description and join us. But I said on Patreon I was going to do a motivation video on darkness to light. Because I was sitting outside, right? I don't know why I act like I can multitask. Girl, you can't multitask. Why are you trying to do your hair in a video at the same time? But I was sitting outside and the spirit had told me randomly. Somehow darkness to light came to my mind. And <clears throat> it was in a way where I was doing, I don't, I was either doing a video for Patreon, like editing or something or something. I can't, I just know that somebody on my Patreon and possibly pretty much probably somebody on YouTube too. But I know for a fact that somebody on my Patreon was dealing with darkness, either dealing with it now or was recently dealing with it. Like, in the past, but recent. Because that's what I felt. Like, I lit when I do motivation videos, two things happen. Either it's something that I'm going through, or just came out of, or just went through. Or it's something that the Spirit told me to say. And I listen every time. <laughs> I listen every time. I feel like I'm like, this shirt tight as hell that you got on this itty bitty shirt. That's why you can't breathe. Um, but it's always one or two situations, if not both. Nine times out of ten, it, it probably is both. Because when I motivate, and I say this all the time, what am I trying to do? Why did I put a part in my head? When I motivate other people, I motivate myself at the same time. Because I go back and watch my own motivation videos. And again, it's not for me to be like conceited in a way. But... It's hard for me to find motivation in other people. Like, I love Sarah Jakes. I love Joyce Meyer. I'm not a fan of Joel Osteen. Um, I love motivational speakers. Don't get me wrong. But it just don't hit the same as when I do it. And I listen to myself. And it could be because it's me. And I feel like I'm talking to myself. Like, I'm giving myself my own advice. Like... That could have something to do with it, but I think it's my delivery that kind of, like, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. But me actually talking it out and helping other people helps me. And so I was thinking about darkness. Now, I can't say that I've really been in a state of darkness, but I can say that I've been, a state, I've been in a state of maybe, like, frustration, um... A little bit of sadness, but not really. It's more so frustration. But 
And that I'm talking about like now or like really, really recent. But I have been in moments of darkness. Like everybody have they moments of darkness, their temporary uh seasonal depression moments. Like it's a thing. Okay, it's a thing. It's called mental health. It's called emotions. We have them. We are human. As much as you try to avoid, because I know a lot of people who do this. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say no names, but <laughs> I know a lot of people who do this, as much as you try to avoid your emotions, hide your emotions, don't express your emotions, as much as you try to do that and run from them, it ain't going to work because you're still human. And if you try to hold that shit in, you're going to fucking explode. Trust me, I know. You're still human. Like, you still have to give yourself permission to be human. You have to be okay with being in darkness and you have to be okay with going through things. And when I talk or when I motivate, I don't plan it first. I don't write it down. I don't think about it. I literally just cut on the camera. Even if I motivate in person at an event, I literally do not practice first. I, I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to. Like, this is literally my God-given purpose. Like, if let the spirit lead you as a person. I don't have to practice. It just kind of comes out as it comes out. But if you are in a state of darkness or pre, like recently in a state of darkness, but more so in a state of darkness or you feel darkness coming up on you, I want you to see the light. I want you to see the light because everybody going to go through stages of darkness. It's a part of life. Everybody going to go through these dark stages. But you have to keep in mind at all times. Listen to me when I say this, okay? Come in, brethren. Hmm? When I say brethren, I mean brothers and sisters. You got to understand. Trouble don't last always. Darkness does not last forever. It's going to seem like it's taking so long. It's literally going to feel like it's taking a damn lifetime. It's going to feel like it's taking so long. Like, it literally two days feel like two months, two years, it's going to seem like everything is moving so slow. And all you're going to think about is, I just want to get over this. I just want to get over this. When am I going to get over this? When am I going to get over this? Instead of asking yourself them questions, think about, instead of asking questions in general, switch your mindset to statements. Switch your mind to statements and say, when, when, I get over this when I get through this because you're supposed to speak it's manifestation you're supposed to speak into the future you're supposed to speak of the future bring up the future manifest the future you are the future like the future is your present you have to bring it into fruition so it's not a why this and why that and all the, it's not the it's when and it's a statement you don't ask yourself questions because you, you're asking yourself questions you don't know the answer to. It's literally a waste of time. Like, you asking, when am I going to come out of this? Why am I going through this? No. <laughs> you don't have the answer to that question. Only God knows the answer to that question. So it ain't even no point in asking. It ain't no point in asking. You just got to wait for the moment. The moment going to come, and then it's going to come when you least expect it. It happens to me every time. I swear it be the most random moments where I will literally be in a bad mood for months and then wake up or it'd be a random moment and I'd be like, whoo, I feel good. Like, <laughs> it ain't, ain't nothing happened. It'd just be a random moment where I'd be like, you know what? Girl, please, you must have forgot who you was. Like, literally, this is how it happens. It's a random moment and you don't know when that moment gonna come. So, until that moment comes, Instead of dwelling on the darkness and keeping yourself in it, you have to focus on the light that's ahead. Because I don't care how much darkness you go through, it's always light at the end. You just have to be wise enough and you have to open your eyes enough to see it. Because if you don't see it and if you don't walk towards it, then you're going to stay in the darkness. Just because I did say every, if you always come out of darkness at some point. God, dog, girl. You always come out of darkness at some point. Darkness ends at some point. But faith without works is also dead. So, <laughs> therefore, 
you're going to have to put in some work. You're going to have to put in some work. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me pause because uh, I'm trying to figure out what the hell. My bad. I need to braid my hair and I can't do it with. So, oh, I don't want to get the blow dryer. I don't want to get the blow dryer. <sighs> no, that's going to make my hair dry, but I got to. Okay. I, mm, it's not really giving what I need it to give. You know what? I'm going to braid my hair with. I, that's what we're going to do. I don't know why I put that product on there because that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm about to struggle, especially with these nails. But um, there will come a time in your life, multiple times, one time, I don't care, but usually multiple times because, again, we human, where darkness is going to overpower you so bad, you're going to be like, ain't no way I can live like this. Ain't, ain't no way I can live in such a capacity. Like, I can't handle this. Yeah, you can. Want to know why? Because it's a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> it's a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm a visual person. I am extremely visual. Like, I have to be, I have to see something. Everything that I do, I always visualize it. So, when I get like that, what I do, which may work for some people, if you're a visual person, some people are better at listening. Some people are visual people. But what I do is I imagine myself right right on a path or in a tunnel depending on what i'm going if it's if it's a i'm trying to make a decision type deal about life then i'll see a path and i'll see two ways if it's something like darkness i'll see a tunnel it just depends on the situation but since we're talking about darkness i'll see myself in a tunnel on one end of the tunnel we all know tunnels are dark right but while I'm in this tunnel, now that I think about it, my second book, that's the cover. Girl, listen, I didn't even put two and two together. I'm going to have to post a picture of that just so y'all can see that that's literally the front of my second book. Huh. Crazy. And I wrote that book in, what, 2016? Anyway, that's, hmm, okay, spirit. But I see myself at the end of this tunnel, but there's a light at the end. I focus on the light. So if I'm at the end of the tunnel, I'm, I'm on one side of the tunnel. I'm looking towards the light at the end of the tunnel. And I make myself walk towards it, and I don't stop. Because it's going to be, and nobody knows how long this tunnel is. Nobody knows how long your tunnel is. I don't know how long my tunnel is because the tunnel represents time. Girl, what? <laughs> the tunnel represents time so you don't know how long the tunnel is there may be places in the tunnel that's darker than others because your darkness can get worse or it can get better or it can go back and forth but you got to focus on the light you have to get to the end the goal is to get to the end where the light is. You don't know how long it's going to take you to get there. When you're going to get there. Hell, half the time you don't even know how you're going to get there. <laughs> like, you don't even know how you're going to get there. But the main focus is to know that eventually you're going to get there. It's going to happen. I don't care what nobody else tells you. Don't listen to the people. Don't listen to the people. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> they don't know what the, them naysayers don't don't do that don't do that don't do that i don't do that i do not do that i am serious about if you own something negative stay away from me i love my mama to death but that's a lot of the reasons why we don't get along because she can be a negative nancy sometimes and i just be like uh-uh going on with that <laughs> like I, that's what we not gonna do we're not doing that. I'm not doing that. So all that toxicity, all that people telling you, you can't do this, you can't do that, it ain't going to be over, you're going to be depressed, you're going to do it, uh-uh. Excuse you? That should, that should make you want to push even harder. Because, like I said, tunnel. 
I want everybody to take a moment. Hmm? Take a moment. And I'm dramatic. This is me in real life. I'm really dramatic. It's like I be serious, <laughs> but I don't be serious. But I'm really serious, though. It's just who I am. Take a moment with me. And I want everybody that's watching this to visualize the tunnel that I'm talking about. To visualize themselves at the end of a tunnel. See it. Tap into it. Close your eyes if you have to. I don't, I don't look no different. And I want you to literally close your eyes. And matter of fact, it's better if you close your eyes. Reflect on it. Look at the tunnel. And see that bright, shining light at the end. And tell yourself, that's where I'm going to be. That's where I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get down there. And no matter how dark this tunnel is, no matter what's in this tunnel, because it might be all kind of stuff in, I'm trying not to cuss as much, It's all, it might be stuff all in the tunnel. You don't know what kind of hurdles they got up in there. You don't know none of that. But you got to tell yourself, it don't matter what's in there, I'm still going to get to that light. Ain't nobody going to stop me. You're going to have haters in the tunnel. You're going to have all kind of stuff blocking your way while you're trying to get there. You better learn some, some defense moves. You be, I be, uh-oh, uh, -oh, uh -oh, wait, let me go around. Oh, you thought you had me. Nope, you didn't. Oh, <laughs> like, you better do the, <laughs> get in there. Like, you got to swerve on them. Like, I'm playing, but I'm serious. Like, this is a serious thing. Because this happens. Like I, like I said, I don't know who it is, but it's somebody. It's somebody. I can feel it. I can always feel it. Somebody, because there's so many of us in the world, and again, we're human. So even if you ain't going through it right now, again, I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy. I'm being reasonable. You gon' you gonna go through it at one at some point. Either you just got out of it, girl. You are not gonna be able to pray this shit. Either you just got out of it, or you're gonna go through it at some point. And if you ain't been through the darkness yet, or if you're not in a moment of darkness right now, and it comes. I want you to go back to this video. I want you to remember this video. Play it back if you have to. And remember what I said. And focus on that part. The You have to stay positive. Because the more you dwell on negative stuff, the more you dwell on the darkness, and this ain't going to be no real brain child. This is just, I don't even know. The more you dwell on it, the longer it's going to take for you to get out of it. Because instead of focusing on the negative part of it, Focus on the positive part. Focus on what am I going to learn from this? What's going to happen? What's going to come out of this? And I'm telling y'all stuff I know. I don't tell y'all nothing I ain't never experienced. I literally, everything that I've ever told y'all I experienced. I came from the darkest past. And it's the holidays right now. And I know this probably going to hit because it's the holiday season. That's a hard time for a lot of people. It's a hard time for me because my grandma not here no more. Whether you're going through the loss of a loved one right now, whether you're going through a breakup, anything. Hold on, y'all. Whether you go, what it don't matter. Whatever you're going through, it's a hard time for people right now. So you have to, you have to focus. And you have to think about, excuse me, think about what's going to come of this. What is going to come out of this? Because it's dark and dirty and painful as my past was. From, girl, that's horrible. From sex abuse to being in the streets and sex abuse times three. Robbed at gunpoint. Horrible family relationships. Bad love relationships. I can go all day. Daddy passed away. <laughs> like, I, I can go all day. Out of all that darkness and trouble, hence the point, that I went through, so much came out of that. Everything that I do now, everything that I am now, the trouble movement, the speaking, the motivation, the elements of me, like everything, the writer part of me, it's, all that came from darkness. And pain, I used that pain and turned it into purpose. 
I literally didn't I you I will not be defeated. I tell myself that all the time. I will not be defeated. And I wasn't defeated. Now don't get me wrong, it's hard as it's hard as hell. It's hard. Like that I've been frustrated a lot lately because it's so hard trying to maintain that purpose, especially with TTM. Like it ain't easy running on nonprofit. Especially when you don't have a lot of people. Like, I have a wonderful support team from my mentors to my team to Christian, y'all all know. But that, it, honestly, it don't make it no easier for me. I'm still the founder. I'm still the one who created it. I'm still its mother. That's still my child. I still have to take care of it. And ain't nobody going to take care of it like me. If something needs to be done, I got to do it. And it can be draining sometimes, especially when you're trying to live your life. I had, I gave up my twenties. I didn't have I didn't have fun in my twenties. In my twenties, I was an entrepreneur, a published author, the founder of a nonprofit. I didn't do nothing in my twenties. <laughs> I was literally the opposite of people in their twenties. I was doing stuff that people in their forties do. So I didn't really get to live life like I should have. And I'm hoping in my 30s I can, because I'm getting old, child. <laughs> I know everybody like, 30 ain't old? Shit. When you done done all the stuff that I've done and in your 20s, 30 feel old. I'm tired. <laughs> like, I, I'm legitimately tired because I was doing so much. So now my body has broken down. I'm not as strong. I'm not as, I ain't gonna say I'm not as, as ambitious, but I don't have the level of energy I used to have. So when I say I'm old, that's what I mean. I got condition on my lip. But nevertheless, because sometimes I will go off into a whole nother tangent, focus on the light. That's the moral of the story. Focus on the light. And again, I can't breathe because I'm trying to do two things at once and I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. I gotta stop smoking. And this shirt too tight. But um, that's the moral of the story is focus on the light. Okay? Your tunnel got a light at the end of it. it it's down there. You just gotta see it. You gotta get to it. That's it. Don't get don't ask questions. Don't get in your head. Don't know why me, why this, why that. You're going to have the moments. I got them too. We're going to have the moments when we question God. Like, God, why you putting me through this? We question ourselves. Like, what did I do wrong? Is it me? Am I the problem? Like, we're going to have those moments. But as soon as you have that moment, be like, no. Nah, I'm not the problem. It's life. <laughs> like, it's, it's called life. I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right. And I know that a lot of y'all, if not all of y'all, done been through some dark moments and came out and y'all was all right, wasn't you? Huh? You was all right, wasn't you? Okay, so it can happen again. And it's going to keep happening. I don't care what nobody say. You listen to me. Listen to what I tell you. Okay? Because <laughs> I love y'all for real. Y'all think I be joking. I do. But um, that's all I had for my little motivation moment. Y'all know I'm an aggressive motivator. I'm not really the one to be like, so guys, I, I just really want you to reflect and think about the things that are going on in your life. I can't do that. That's not me. It, oof, that didn't even feel right. I'm an aggressive motivator. Because, baby, what you ain't going to do is this, and we're we not doing that. Get up. Right now. And get it together. And with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.